Good day everyone. In this channel we talk about immigration and traveling to any country. In the same time we share a content about real estate from all over the world. Sharing a content in English, in Arabic and soon we will add Spanish subtitles. Today we will talk about an island where you can travel or probably you want to relocate and start a new life. This island will give you the opportunity to stay up to 12 months and you can renew that visa up to 2 years. Of course you can bring your family with you and simply you can apply online from any country. The great thing about this opportunity is that you don't need a job offer, you don't need a certificate, you don't need a language certificate. So all what you have to do to follow the steps and apply online. All what you have to do to stick to the end, we're going to break down the process and we're going to simplify all the steps. Let's talk more about Barbados. Barbados is a small island country in a southeastern Caribbean sea. Its neighbors include St. Lucia to the north, St. Vincent and the Gradients to the west. And of course to the south, Trinidad and Tobago. And when it comes to the population, Barbados has 280 to 300,000 and the capital is Bridgetown. Let's start first with the countries that you can enter with a Barbados passport. You can enter 151 countries, as you can see the European Union, like Austria, Germany, um, we have France, of course, here, um, Greece, most of the European countries, uh, Middle East, like Jordan, um, we have Lebanon, we have Japan, Ireland, India. Malaysia. Of course, you can enter Canada with ETA, Electronic Travel Authorization, and the UK, of course. But I believe you need a visa to apply for the States. So let's see, probably um, United Arab Emirates. Yeah, you don't need a visa. So pretty much the passport's really good. It's powerful. And now let's take a look on Barbados map. We're going to talk about buying or renting a property in Barbados. So that's going to clarify many points before moving or traveling to Barbados. We're going to talk about the south part first. As you can see, Bridgetown, the capital. And then um, as you can see, Christchurch. If you want to buy a four bedroom apartment, you're going to pay around $230,000 American dollars. But if you want to pay in Barbados currency, which is dollars as well, you're going to pay around 460000 and now let's talk about the upper part, which is St. James. Let me see here. Okay. So if you want to get a um, one bedroom apartment, you have to pay around $90,000, which is not too expensive. If you want to get a three bedroom apartment, then you have to pay around $230,000. We're still talking in American dollars. Let's head to the east. If you want to get a four bedroom apartment in Bathsheba, you have to pay around $170,000. Going back to the south part, going to talk about the rent right now in Christchurch. If you want to get a two bedroom, you have to pay around $2,000 per month. But if you want to get two bedroom apartment in St. James, the upper part, you have to pay around $1,000. And now let's make a comparison between Toronto and Bridgetown. And let's see which city is more expensive. We're going to talk about the meal and expensive restaurant. You're paying $25 in Toronto, but you're going to pay the same thing or almost a little bit more in Bridgetown, which is 25.17 cent. And if you want to planning like uh, to have a meal for two people, then you're going to pay $100 in Toronto and $123 in Bridgetown. Let's see about um, the cappuccino, $4, around $5 in Bridgetown. Let's scroll down a little bit and see the chicken plates um it's around seven dollars but five dollars which means cheaper in bridgetown i'm gonna just scroll down a little bit tomatoes two dollars in toronto one dollar point ninety six cents in bridgetown the water two dollars point two three cents two dollars point sixty four cents in bridgetown which means more expensive we're gonna talk about the transportation if you want to get a one-way ticket and local transportation $3.25 in Toronto, $2.40 in Bridgetown. The gasoline, $7 in Toronto, $10 in Bridgetown. And if you want to buy a car, let's say Corolla, you, you're paying $25,000, but $53,000 in Bridgetown. We're going to scroll down here and see other expenses like the rent per month, as we mentioned earlier, the salaries, as we mentioned. So pretty much I'm going to leave this um, in the description box down below so you guys can uh, go through it. And now let's talk about the average salary in Barbados, which is $75,000 annually, which means $37,000 USD. Going by profession, university professor earns around $175,000, CEO $160,000, engineer $140,000, system analysis $118,000. When it comes to a manager, $100,000 per year. 
lawyer $90,000, marketing manager $80,000, IT manager $78,000, accountant $68,000, computer engineer $68,000. When it comes to nursing, $60,000 per year, teacher, $59,000. And I'm going to leave in the description box down below a link for all these occupations so you can take a look. And now let's talk about the requirements. The requirements are pretty straightforward and clear. All what you have to do to provide a valid passport copy, a photo, and you need to prove that you have an income of $50,000 annually. So if you have an income of $50,000, you can just prove that. If you have a business online, if you have a business, like a location or something, and you have only to build a website to prove that you have a business online, so you are working remotely, or you're hiring people, or managing your business online, that's gonna be enough, but you have to provide a business letter, you have to provide a settlement plan you have to provide explanation letter we can provide and help you with all that either you can do it by yourself or you can contact us we can charge you only a pretty low fees for handling all the application all what you have to do to prepare these documents and submit your application online if you are applying alone you're paying two thousand dollars but only after approval so you're going to submit your application first and once you get approved then you have to pay $2,000. If you are applying with your family members, you have to pay in total $3,000. And once you get approved, you pay that amount. So after getting approved, you're gonna get it up to 12 months and you have the ability to renew it for another two years. What's the benefit of this visa? You will be able to work remotely and you will be located in Barbados. I see another benefit of this visa. You can travel to other countries. You can use this resident as a legal document that you have a legal resident in Barbados. Let's say you want to apply to um, Germany. You want to go for uh, um, pleasure. You want to go for anything else. You still have a status in a country or in an island like Barbados, which is going to give you a stronger status when you apply to other countries. The other benefit that you don't have to pay income tax. So you can stay there freely. You can start to... Um, settle down look for other business opportunities there probably you can convert to a work permit or maybe you can sign out a job opportunity and then you can leave legally and come back as a worker so the sky is the limit all what you have to do to try submit your application online if you got approved you can pay the fees and move to Barbados and to support you more guys we have signed recently an agreement with the university there in Barbados so if you are planning to study there all what you have to do to reach out to us and we're gonna do our best to assist you as you know we are providing free consultations you can just text us send us a message on whatsapp or send us an email but if you want us to stay in touch with you all the time and answer all of your questions all what you have to do to join our membership we have membership stars from two dollars up to 99 dollars we're gonna stay in touch with you answer your questions schedule a phone call and try to support you and if you are planning to submit your application through our agency we can give you a discount and try to support you until you submit your application hopefully you enjoyed the content today if you have any comments leave it in a comment section if you have any questions feel free to send us an email thank you so much and have a good one one.